watching Alabama's WVUA News at 6 with your award-winning news team, Lynn Brooks, Philip Coleman, weather with Richard Scott, and sports with Gary Harris. Tonight on WVUA News at 6. Gulf Coast governors are upset with the U.S. Air Force. Find out why the Air Force may be moving planes vital to hurricane recovery away from the coast. Also, the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office hopes a new system will help keep residents better informed. But first, the race for a seat on the Tuscaloosa County Commission is heating up. In less than a week, voters will decide which Republican candidate, Stan Acker, Frank Chandler, Frank Gray, or William Tunnell, will take the soon-to-be-vacated seat for District 1 County Commissioner. WVA's Jennifer Edwards sat down with all the candidates to find out where they stand on some of the biggest issues facing the county. District 1 includes the north part of Tuscaloosa County. The candidates running for the seat on county commission would like to see the city of Northport and Tuscaloosa come together. We'll work together with the city of Tuscaloosa in reducing some of these regulations that are on the developers and the contractors and stopping the growth that we'll see, that we could see here in Tuscaloosa County. Even though Tuscaloosa is a, a huge municipality, Northport operates on the same le uh, basis, even though we're not at the same level. So just move that aside and get everybody working together. And uh, With the other governmental entities, with the municipalities, with Tuscaloosa and Northport, uh, cooperatively, just to build a better future for our community. You may not realize this, but in many places, particularly in the city of Northport, part of a road may belong to the city and the part and the other end of the road belong to the county. And, and when there's not collaboration on those uh, construction projects, resurfacing projects, or drainage improvements, you can run into a bit of a snag. A main focus for some District 1 candidates is relieving traffic on main roads. I would like to see the bypass completed all the way from uh, Alberta, all the way around to out to the airport. Uh, I would like to see some way that we could divert all of the trucks that are currently going over the bridge uh, more in line to keeping with the toll road. The New Watermelon Road, which goes across the Tuscaloosa Dam up there, it is uh, way overused and it needs to be something done about that. To others, a focus is the countywide 911 system. I think the county commission can take the lead on that to ensure that the first responders are out there where needed, when needed, immediately. I would like to see an increased presence of deputies in the northern and eastern parts of my district. Polls open Tuesday morning at 7. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Jennifer Edwards, WVUA News. The Republican presidential hopefuls are making their way here to Alabama. Newt Gingrich kicked it off yesterday in Pell City, and today former Senator Rick Santorum is campaigning all across the state. He held a rally at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville this morning. Santorum made a stop in Pelham this afternoon and is ending his visit to the state in Mobile. Santorum says a win for him in the state could narrow the race down to two frontrunners. And Mitt Romney plans to visit the state tomorrow. He'll hold a town hall meeting in Jackson, Mississippi, then travel to Alabama for an event at Thompson Tractor in Birmingham. The event is scheduled for 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. Earlier this week, Romney picked up the endorsement of former Governor Bob Riley. And Alabama's primary is just a few days away. It's set for Tuesday, March 13th. Monday, March 12th, is the deadline to turn in absentee ballots. And it's also important to note the week of the primary is spring break for the University of Alabama, as well as Tuscaloosa County and city schools. And if one is needed, a primary runoff would take place Tuesday, April 24th. On your education watch, searching for a new leader of the Tuscaloosa County Schools. You had the chance to speak out about what you'd like to see in the next superintendent of the county school system. School officials are hosting public meetings for the community. The first meeting is set for tonight. It's at Tuscaloosa County High School's gymnasium. That one starts at 7. The next meeting is set for Tuesday, March 20th at Hillcrest High School's auditorium. That one is also 7 p.m. 
The governors of the five Gulf Coast states, including Alabama, are fighting a U.S. Air Force proposal to move eight planes from Texas that are used for post-hurricane evacuations. The governor sent a letter to the Obama administration this week in response to proposed Air Force budget cuts. And those cuts include moving the C-130 Hercules planes away from a Fort Worth base two years from now. Now, the letter says that moving the aircraft means that it would take days instead of just hours to mobilize them during a disaster. New at 6 tonight, the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office announced a new way to communicate with county residents. The new system will allow residents to sign up for text message alerts sent out by the Sheriff's Office. Messages will include crime prevention tips, bulletins, and press releases, also other relevant safety and community event information. Tuscaloosa County Sheriff Ted Sexton says this will be a valuable tool. We're looking forward to being able to use this and giving uh, uh, the residents of Tuscaloosa County uh, the opportunity to basically get tailor-made messaging uh, that relates directly to their neighborhood, their school, uh, or their churches. You can sign up for the text message system by texting your zip code in Tuscaloosa County to 888-777. Notifications can also be accessed online at the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office website. That's www.tcsoal.org. Still to come. Drivers saw a dip in gas prices this week after a long streak of rising prices. I'm Greg Black, and I'll have the story after the break. And coming up in Home Team Weather, watching a band of intense thunderstorms moving into northwest Alabama now. At this point, nothing severe in our area, but we'll deal with any severe storms and how long is the rain going to stick around. Your forecast is coming up. And later, the Alabama men's basketball team got all they could handle from South Carolina today. But did the tide hang on to bring home the win? John Huddleston will have highlights coming up in Alabama's home team sports. 